director of the historical campaign, Ethan Smith. Mm -hmm. Ethan, how Hi. are you? Good Excellent. to see you. Excellent. How are you? Welcome back. Thank you. So brand new uh, nonprofit, brand new uh, educational uh, institution and yeah. already in its first few months a big success. Yes, we just finished the school year and that was the, the spring, the time that students are studying Civil War. So we definitely want to really push this spring season. So with that being said, the end of the season we ended up going to 19 different schools this year. Wow. Yes, really good for our first year. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah that's fantastic. We actually met with uh, 2,800 students were, over those were you 19. Were surprised with how? Yes, and how fast it spread. Yeah. So I'm hoping to double it next year. Well, if you are a teacher and are interested in having Ethan uh, in your classroom, uh, we highly recommend it. We've seen his presentation, mm -hmm. and uh, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, thank you. What has been the response from, from kids, particularly when you're talking about um, a subject that um, might not be too familiar to, to mm -hmm. Yeah, so we talk about the American Civil War and the use of primary sources. So today I brought in a couple new items that okay. I've acquired over the spring, last time I've been here. So New, old, old new. Old new. Old new, yeah, okay. Absolutely. Well, I don't want to touch it because they're uh, fragile yes. and expensive. Yes, right? absolutely. Okay. So recently I acquired um, this piece. So and this we'll is a, um, a carte de visite of General James Garfield. This is original image. And then with Wait a that. Minute. So this is this was actually this is the the original print. Yes. From who do you know? James anything? Garfield. He was the twentieth president. President. Yep. Twentieth oh, president. General before. Yes. No kidding. Yeah. Wow. So these knives right here were actually the mess knives that James Garfield used during the Civil War. The actual knives. Yes, he used two of them, and they're right here in my hand. So students are able to learn from these knives. It's amazing to me that this, th this, these artifacts um, were even preserved. Yes. Especially during a war, they were in a mess tent or something. Yep. He'd be eating with these. Huh. Yeah, how it's do fascinating. you? How do you find something like that? I buy from historic auctions and dealers. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have specifically what I'm looking for. And then the, there has to be some uh, provenance with them, some yes. chain of custody evidence. That yeah, I have all the documentation for all these artifacts huh. at home. Wow. Yeah. And you wouldn't know that special. except from you telling us that. Yep. And they were actually made in... Uh, yep, the handle's made out of bone. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. It's a cool piece. All right. So we also have a Civil War era Bible I just acquired uh, a couple weeks ago. I've not brought that to a school yet, but... I'm looking forward to it. This is over 200 and... Over 150. 150. Yeah. Oh, oh you got oh. Hair, hair that just fell Oh my off. gosh, that was a surprise. I yes. didn't know that was in there. So somebody uh, collected hair from a family member and used that as a memento because if a soldier would have died during the war, they would... Uh, bury their body unless they had money they'd ship their body oh. back they just bury their body at the battlefield this is amazing they'd keep that as a memento so you'd have to have uh, good reading glasses um, back then to to read those and this is i would say this is an incredible yes condition. it's a very good condition wow yeah so then also on the table there's a little elephant in the room <laughs> it, it's a cannon a real cannon yes that is a signal cannon I just picked that up this week. So a signal cannon would be used um, to bring attention if there was somebody, um, if the enemy was coming. It's still hot. Did you fire this? I did not. Okay. So it's really interesting for students to be able to see an actual cannon in their school. And you can see the hole on top. That's where the friction primer would go. And I also have one of those friction primers so I can actually show the students how that that would fit in there, and you can use it to fire. Would you ever fire this? Probably not. No. No. You could probably damage. Probably. <laughs> yes. Yes. What could possibly go wrong? Just a cannon. Yes, just a cannon. <laughs> and it weighs a ton. Yes. Well, not yeah. literally, but. Yeah, it's, it's about 70 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. And a, a rifle of some sort. Yes. So this is an infield rifle. This was imported from England. Yeah, and this is heavy. Yes, it's nine and a half pounds. 
So a soldier would be carrying this. It's the second most popular form of um, rifle during Civil War, the first being the Springfield. And they had to uh, single load each shot? Yes, yep. A good soldier is going to get off three shots a minute. Yeah. And interesting. So uh, actually, specifically with this piece, that gun's actually loaded. It's loaded right now? Yes, it's a period ball in there. And what they would do is when you load it, the soldier can still get shot when he's loading. So that soldier was shot before he was able to get his... Oh, it's got a sad gun. story. Yeah. Well, I but that was war. There's more? Yeah, that was war. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was war. That was war. That was war. All right, so I'm not going to point this at uh, anyone here in the studio because we don't want to have that same no. thing befall them. You must have picked up, um, before these items, you must have picked up a lot more because you've been collecting for how, how many years? About three years. I can't hold Take this that. thing. So All right. it. Don't point it at me. It's loaded. Okay. Very interesting story, though. You've been collecting for, did, were you in high three, school when you started collecting? Uh, just after high school, three years. Well, it's amazing how this has taken off. It's a great hobby. When people are interested in um, hearing you speak or um, seeing you, yep. I know you've got some, besides schools, you happy to come to community groups? Yep. Or? Yep. I've done uh, a couple museums, so I'm looking forward to do a couple more public events. And I saw you were in Turkeyville. Yes. So we did the march in Turkeyville. It was a 6.3 mile march uh, last Friday. And do you, uh, are you participant as a Civil War reenactor? Yes. I, yep, I so. was that weekend. Yeah. And you've been so. doing that for a while too. Uh, this is my second year. Okay. So it's good to be able to live in the Civil War for a weekend. <laughs> for a weekend, that's it. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. You've uh, turned into a, a Civil War historian, mm -hmm. and it's appropriate here in Jackson because we do have a lot of Civil War history. Absolutely. There's a ton of Civil War history with Austin Blair, Christian Rath. There's a whole bunch of history here in Jackson. You have a website people can get a hold of you on. Yes, www.thehistoricalcampaign.com. We also have our um, merchandise for sale. We have a pre-order for some apparel people can look at if they want to support the organization. And do you sell bees, beeswax? My parents do. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. We can probably get that there, too. Absolutely. Nice to see you. Thank yeah, you for nice coming to see you. Yeah, thanks. The uh, founder of the uh, historical campaign, Ethan Smith. Uh, a lot more coming up 